Okay, so um, a few days ago it was no makeup day and I did a little self-portrait of myself wearing a very subtle day look uh, in really against that because frankly it's nobody else's business what I put on my face because it's my face. So I thought you might like to know how you two could achieve that look. Um, I mean obviously right now I could just fit in at London Fashion Week just as I am but you know not everyone's that lucky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I put on and how I put it on and then you can give it a try and you can let me know how it turns out for you so to start with put my hair back which I'm going to do with um, pretty clips so that again uh, I could just walk out into the street right now and just you know be accepted by Karl Lagerfeld he loves my type he really does um, so I'm going to do one half of my face so that you can see the contrast so I'm starting with this infallible brush, L'Oreal um, English Rose foundation stuff, which um, the brush thing doesn't want to clean. I took it off and I cleaned it. So I'm just going to paint this on like I'm painting a wall because that seems to be, you know, how it works. Uh, you just brush it all over. You can see the colour co covering up my face there. Uh, and it seems I'm covering up my good side, which is, you know, unfortunate for you. I don't care. I don't have to look at it. Oh, and the brush fell off. That's not much of a review now, is it? Um, so there you go. Let's just, there you go. That's a bunch of that on there. Just rub it in a little bit. There we go. So contrast starting to show up already. Um, what I'll do next is a little bit of concealer because, you know, Everybody's got little imperfections, and I look like I've been punched in the eyes. So, just little dots under my eyes there. And I'll pat them off, like you see on TV. And it seems to be going everywhere. Now, I'm not very good with concealer, um, because it looks to me like I've painted different colours. But that's just because I'm not very good at it. So, uh, the next step is my eyes. Now, first of all you have to forgive my eyebrows because I'm going to get them threaded but unfortunately that means I have to kind of ignore them for months which means I've just basically got hairy eyelids right now but pretend that's not happening. So with my eyes I'm going to use this natural collection uh, it's called Vanilla and Plum because it's two shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the base on uh, which is vanilla. As you can see this is just a very natural yellow colour and I'll just take that right up to my eyebrows with my fingers, you see, because um, although I have brushes they really don't put very much colour on and if you can't see the colour, what's the point? so I'm just going to stick my fingers in here I did wash my hands, obviously, before this the plum I'm just going to put that right there right above my eyelashes so as you can see already this nice day look is starting to come together. Now, just for a little bit extra, for like, you know, to make yourself feel good about yourself, I'm going to use this Bling Tone Silver Screen and add a little bit of glitter. Now what that does is just plaster it on up there and now I just look a little bit shiny, a little bit, you know, is she an alien? I accidentally rubbed purple on my face, that's unfortunate. But you know, it's a look. A uh, little bit like an alien. A little bit David Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie wishes he was all like me. Um, so now you've got the, the, the colours on there. So what I'm going to do now is the liner. Now, I have this bright blue L'Oreal liner, which is very smudgy. I bought in Spain and I don't really know what it's called here. Or if they even still do it here. So what I'll do because it's smudgy is I'll whack a load on and then I can just smudge it off later. So this is using the uh, a kind of bastardised version of the Sally Hughes eyeliner method um, because frankly she's just much better at it than me. But there you go, that's what happens. Uh, and then under the eyelids as well. Now it's hard to do your under eyes so what I do is I just whack it on every which way and then use a smudger on the end to just smudge it out a bit. And then I pass it off as a smoky eye. So now you can see the top as well, nice and brightly coloured. 
Now, the final framing for your eyes is obviously the mascara. So what I have here is um, MAC Zoom Lash, which is green. Now green and purple go well together, everybody knows this. So I'm just going to put a ton of this baby on, and again, got it on my face. I haven't been drinking, I promise I haven't. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, and I don't drink anyway. I'm just really not good at this. So there's a bunch of mascara on there, and don't forget your bottom lashes. Somebody once told me, when putting your mascara on, the ultimate aim, what you want to achieve, is you want your eyes to be pointy. Pointy eyes. Pointy eyes. So there you go. A little bit disco. But you know, just ready for a walk on the beach. Uh, trip down the post office. Green eyebrows might be the next big thing. You don't know. The next thing I'm going to do is my blusher because blusher is very important. So I've got this blusher brush which is natural fibres, or should be natural fibres, I don't know how to tell the difference. It's supposed to be natural fibres. So I'm going to put a bit on, on my brush there. Now some people say you should dab off the excess, but I think go big or go home. So here we go. You do a big smile and then you do it on the balls of your cheeks. Swoosh, so, swoosh. Wow, yeah, there you go. Now, wow, that's actually creased with my face. I feel really old right now. Uh, probably not meant to use my hand, but it's actually that gaudy right now. So there you go. All of my wrinkles, nice big stripe, like the girls you see walking around these days. The final touch is lipstick. I've got red lipstick because that's hot. Everyone should have a red, li have a red lipstick, even if they can't pull off this. This is an MUA one, shade 13, which I got for a pound in Superdrug. Heartily recommend. It was very nice too. So, go put it on my lips. There you go. So, it's a very quick look. Let me just show you the contrast. So, normal. Day look. See? Don't I look happier with the makeup on? I just look better. So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave me comments, uh, emails, Twitter, uh, Facebook, whatever you like. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how it works out for you. Um, let me know if you get asked out, complimented. You probably will, because, you know, it's a good look. And in the next episode, I'll show you how to do strong makeup.